So myself, Dr. Subhaprakash Sanyal, I'm the director of hematology, hematoncology, and the bone marrow transplant division of Fortis Cancer Institute. So recently we have done a survey by our hospital through Mumbai Cancer Index, and we found some data and we took a uh, took a survey up, uh, after questioning around significant number of populations, and a few of the data I just want to comment. So first thing what we got. 3% respondent attributed family history to be the only aspect that poses as a risk for blood cancer. So as because I am a hematoncologist, I will be talking very strictly about the blood cancer related problem. So blood cancer when we talk, basically it comes under the three type of cancer like a leukemia, lymphoma and the multiple myeloma. But honestly speaking, in general, blood cancers are not familial or particularly it is not a hereditary most of the blood cancers are so they are not associated with the any family history but yes now we know that there are some entities called familial leukemias familial uh, uh, type of disease sometimes are there but they are very few in number next interesting data is that 78 percent responded stated that all cancers are treatable if detected early so I agree with this statement. So any malignancy or any cancers which are detected early, the doctor has lot of options to treat them, and they are mostly the mostly the, the, the type of disease that is easy, easy to cure. Nine percent respondents stated that cancer could not be treated even if it is diagnosed early. I strongly disagree with the statement. In particularly the many type of blood cancers like a chronic myeloid leukemia, acute promyelocytic leukemia. Significant number of acute leukemia are completely treatable. Or the Hodgkin's lymphoma, 60 to 70 percent of the lymphomas are completely treatable. So remember that in hematoncology, with the advent of the new diagnostic modality, new prognostic classification and prognostic modality, and the treatment are so advanced, in, and as it happened in the last seven to eight years, that many cancers are now completely curable. And patients go to go back to their life after the malignancy treatment and they can lead a normal quality of life and their life expectancy is as normal as the normal population. 49% responded stated that having cancer equal to death. Again, I can strongly disagree with this statement because many of the patients, I told my earlier statements also, that many of the blood cancer patients, they get treatment and they're completely cured. And one very funny thing I want to add here, there are some group of blood cancer, like a chronic lymphocytic leukemia, sometimes the very early stages of the monoclonal gammopathy, which actually not transform to multiple myeloma, they don't even require treatment. They just need some follow-up and they just complete their life without taking the cancer treatment. So remember one thing, there are few of the blood cancers, few of the type of the blood cancers, like a chronic lymphocytic leukemia I already told, uh, that they don't require any treatment throughout their life. So that is a very interesting part of the story of hematoncology. 51% responded stated that timely intervention could help. I will say that uh, definitely timely intervention could help. But in hematoncology, the most important thing, in particular in the leukemia, what we talk about, we don't talk about matter about the stage. We talk about the type of the disease, so behavior of the disease. So that is more important. 59% respondent stated that the patient with cancer diagnosis do not discuss their health concern with their family, co-workers, friends, etc. Yeah, so that is one very uh, interesting thing. And I see that that is, I think personally, that uh, it, it depends on the person's uh, psychological framework. So many people don't want to share their personal uh, interest. I am fully okay with that idea. But they should share their ideas with their treating doctor. They discuss with their doctors very clearly. They should not do simply doing the Google and the other, other stuff and make some theory inside them. And uh, that issue is to be, I think, very much uh, shorted out. So frank discussion with the treating hematoncologist definitely helps. 41% respondents stated that open discussion about health issues was prioritized. That only you should prioritize. Any problem or any disease of the patient is the patient's right. The patient has a 
all the rights to discuss the issue very frankly with the doctors so that doctor can give them the best possible solution in 2023. Thank you.